welcome to PC Wits Kids Weekly Answer Back episode number 20. Today we're looking at some more common questions from you guys. One question that I've been getting a lot is what tools do I use to modify the PCs that you see in my videos? All the different types of components. Obviously I need to use something to install all this stuff. And um, no matter what it is that I'm installing, whether it's a hard drive, whether it's replacing memory or a hard drive on a laptop, installing a motherboard like this one, or maybe even just installing a CPU cooler or removing one, I need some common tools, not just a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I might need pliers, uh, in some cases even a wrench, a small wrench. Um, you have to keep in mind that not all screws are the same standard size, so a PC technician kit like this one here that comes with specialized heads, so these very tiny little heads, different sizes, so that way you can um, match them up and make sure that it does fit and then of course that way you can install things properly. That's definitely recommended. Okay, uh, if you can get a kit that has the option of um, having these demagnetized, that would be better, okay, because you don't want um, to damage any components. These are all the different sizes of the screw heads, okay, and um, you also might want to get an anti um, static or grounding wrist um, protection, okay, so basically good grounding before you install any of this stuff. Uh, you know, touch touch something like uh, your your PC case, which is connected to um, to ground, and um, that could uh, basically remove any static. But uh, you know, installing things is pretty pretty straightforward with common tools. You don't need anything too fancy. Um, just to make sure that you have a wide variety of screw heads. This one here, this L-shaped long, uh, thin Phillips screwdriver type of uh, tool is to get into hard to reach places, right? Because um, sometimes you need to maybe take out a motherboard or a CPU cooler and there's just one screw in a tight corner and you can't really get to it. Uh, so this uh, would come in handy, for example, in cases like that. In other cases where I'm just replacing the memory on a laptop, well, I need the specialized size uh, screw for that. Okay, so very, very, very tiny size for that one and um, that that's why I have that kit. Okay, so that's uh, one of the things that I recommend if you're uh, about to uh, upgrade the memory on your laptop. Most likely you're going to need this kit. Installing a hard drive though, a larger hard drive, that you can get away with a regular Phillips screwdriver. You don't need anything fancy for that. Okay, um, same thing for a DVD or CD-ROM drive. You can get away with a regular screwdriver, nothing fancy. Just make sure, like I said, demagnetize is better. A wide variety of sizes is always good to have. And, um, and that way you're covered in case... Um, you know, you're buying something or trying to change something and you're not quite sure what the size is. And these parts are not that expensive, right, to get these kits. So uh, there you go. Um, answering uh, your questions again on uh, my Tech Talk videos. And for more answers, please make sure you check out my forum at pcwitzkidstechtalk.com slash forum. Sign up, go in, check it out, and um, thanks for watching.